Okay, Debbie. You got this. This is the afterlife. Or at least their afterlife. There's some similarities to the drowned world, but it's very different. This forest looks a lot more primeval, you know? Yeah, it doesn't... Looks a lot more lively for an afterlife. Wait, there's tentacles. Oh, shit. There's lots of tentacles. Oh, dear. Oh, hold on a second. Uh, the fact. Oh! Fresh. Fresh. Oh, uh, Lydia's done. You can get those even in the afterlife? Uh, I don't know. I apparently. Yeah, it's the answer to a lot of things, I guess. Apparently. Oh, is it dra the dragon was involved? Of course. Yeah, it's, dragon's always involved. But then, if not, just, blame just blame them. But then, I mean, so is everyone else. You know, if they're not involved, blame them anyway! Yep! <laughs> Dante studied up on philosophy. I didn't know ghouls studied, studied philosophy. Wait, he's a ghoul and he runs a... He's a he sells tacos? I don't ask what the meat is. That... Are they good? Yeah, they're actually pretty good. Uh, Alright, I would... Yeah, I would probably eat those tacos. Do you ever ask... Honestly, do you ever ask what the meat is at a food stand? I do not. Ah, this is not good. I know, these things are all over the place. I mean, Look, the pustules are up there, too. I mean, if this is the afterlife, what... Oh, God. Yeah, that means, like, death itself has gone wrong here. How can that even happen? I don't know. God, don't run into any of these things. You'll catch the venom symbiote. I mean, sh sh can this even... How is this even happening? How can the filth even get to the afterlife? Apparently! All oh, right, right. They, they came right back at me, didn't it? Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. Oh, jeez. Look at that. They're. Blocked. I thought those were okay. I thought those ten. I thought these things were like vines or like I don't know. But nope. Those are all ten. That's all filth. It's carving off sections of the afterlife. Yeah. And there's a hound of corruption. Oh God, I remember these things. Oh. I guess I'm a lot stronger than I was. You've got good. Man, these... These people must be ancient, or... I don't know, maybe that's just how they dress in their afterlife. Maybe it's just like... Maybe the afterlife is sort of, for them, is like sort of an eternal now. So... You know? Could be, yeah. So this is so this is like the ancient afterlife. Yeah. yeah. Or like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, do you see? Do you did you see Black Panther? Yeah. Yeah, like when we saw King T'Chaka in the afterlife, he was dressed like a lot more traditionally. So I don't know. It could be. Oh, this opened up. Yeah, the hound went this way. Uh. God, these things are everywhere. They're like cockroaches. These are actually other ancestors who've been corrupted by it. Oh, God. They're ancestor spirits. I mean, are we, are we freeing them or killing them when we do this? I don't know. I mean, I guess either way, it's better than the alternative. 
Yeah. All right, yo. Bad dog. Where'd he go this time? I don't know. Do you, does he leave tracks or anything? Does he just follow the path? Yeah, just go. Ah. Just go wherever you haven't gone yet. It's like Final Fantasy XIII, trust in the hallway. But ten was also a big hallway. That's true, but it was it was a hallway that was like it had better storytelling, you know? Oh see look they did have the house in the huts like that. Okay, wow, I I guess I was mistaken. But if we see a teepee in the afterlife, I'm leaving. That would be very unusual. But I mean, that's the thing, like, 10, it actually had, like, you know, someone who didn't know about the world and could ask questions, you know? It needed that. Yeah! 13 just threw you in and explained nothing. It, it didn't even have good visuals. Everything was all cluttered and a billion different pieces. And the guy you thought was comic relief actually turned out to be the most depressing character. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. You, you should be funny. Why are you not funny? Why are you making me sad? <laughs> because life is pain. Okay, you, you, you. Get away from them. Get, uh, 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 get away from them. Stop fucking with the ancestor spirits. Oh, um. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, God, yeah. There, he's actually converting them. Shit. How do you stop it? Kill the dog. I mean, okay, it's simple. This one's going straight to Zern. He's adamant that there is, uh... Oneurological element to the darkness we're dealing with here. There are certainly grades of nightmares and restlessness. Popping an extra the nester works for me, but apparently not for everyone. Your stroll through La La Land had some very positive effects on the ground. I'm going to assume there's a direct correlation between increasingly stable energy readings and you are not being completely useless. High five. Wow. I think she was trying to squeeze out a compliment there. Well, that's fitting because her compliments are kind of shit. I guess she did say like a neurological instead of just saying it's fucked up dreams. Like she, she just she just wants us to she just wants us to know how smart she is. <sighs> Friend, I haven't got time to be shook up. Not when my wife and I are the only ones in the park who can shoot a can off a fence at ten foot. I'm not even kidding. We held tryouts. Ouch. Sure thing, this is wicked strange. But it's just a real bad day. It must day be why they all have automatic have weapons. Kind of yeah. Spray and pray. Well, the praying the day, might be actually be more effective right Joe, now. That is I've true. something from the stories out there. He says, yup, yup. I tell him, I thought they were just stories. And he gives me one of those looks from over his glasses. If I told you a story about land across the ocean from the island, would you believe that? I say, sure I would. I've seen it. Oh, he likes that. Gets his big old grin on. He <laughs> says, well, Paul, now you've seen the Wendigo, too. <laughs> Nothing is no smartass like an old smartass. I love this guy. He's the best. All the old people we meet are the best. Adventure tours. I got a lot of bright-eyed questions about spirits, ancestors, healing the power of the earth and such. I'm Wabanaki Confederacy. I must be into that stuff, right? I never thought of it as a mystical thing, a tribal thing. 
to treat the land with respect. We learn from our elders. You can't find much older out here than the land. That's the starry-eyed version. The one down here in the grit is that the land will kill you and keep on going like a logging truck. So you respect it and try to find peace with that idea. Understand that it's so much bigger than all of us and has its own big plan. Yes, this world has slipped out of balance. And yes, we have words for that with a whole bunch of owl sounds. But you and I have been walking on a giant all these years. It just shrugged its shoulders. Hmm. A plus ominous. These things just don't stop coming. Everyone needs a break from the killing. <laughs> it's a sports scene, and there's no end to it. We had a good little business going here, me and Paul. We were doing all right. But I guess when you bleed the land, the land eventually bleeds you back. That wave tin is some bullshit. <sighs> oh, I hear you, man. Invaders is the it worst. It started a couple years back. Whitetail season had taken a dip. Hard to make ends meet. Then I picked up the trail of something else out there. Stranger game. Older game. It came like some weird providence. All the old stories come to life. It didn't cross my mind anyone would pay to bag themselves a Wendigo or Sasquatch. But You killed Sasquatch! This out How there. dare you! A lot of folks would, when you ask in the right places. Folks from out of state. Business is a bit slow, so if you're staying around, it's open season on whatever's got no right to walk or crawl here. Yeah, just don't get... Free. God, he's illegally <laughs> coaching Sasquatch. <laughs> what the fuck? In? My turn, isn't it? We've seen some weird shit. I was not expect. I was not expecting a Sasquatch poaching organization. How's it called the Wendigos? You know. Well, okay. Still, still, still. Zombies, Wendigos, old Cliff Walker. Oh, that's that's ominous. We were there. I didn't see any old Cliff Walker. Oh, he wants. Why is this time? Why does he want us to do it at a timer? I don't know. I mean, maybe he's in a hurry. Okay, fine. I'll go to the recent Indian burial ground. Oh, what the hell is that? That's a good question. Looks like a zombie parade balloon. Uh, at, at, le at least try not to walk on the graves. Well, uh, look, if they have a problem with it, they can take it up with me, which they are doing. I cannot argue with that. It's warded. Good, I don't think I want anyone getting in there. Oh. What is that thing? The okay, it looked like it broke the wards. Okay. Well, fuck. Mutated corpse. Oh god, it's got arms like one of those those things. Those homunculi. Oh, look at those guts. Oh god. Oh my god, it's huge. It must have huge guts. <laughs> The land is sold. The tribe splits in two. An unreasonable anger gnaws their hearts and widens the divide. Initiate the now, the dark days. That was really short. It was. Is 
Stay down! At least for long enough, you know, that we feel something. Feel some satisfaction. I mean, it's just hard to get that emotional impact when they come back right back up. Oh, I'm gonna go back to the authentic Wabanaki village. You need more air quotes on that. Authentic. There we go. Huh. Oh, no, right. shit. Right. Nope, nope. That's right. God, that building just looks evil. Wait. If they're calling it Golden Wigwam, why is it a pyramid? Maybe Golden Teepee was taken. That would still be... Never mind. Look, I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, Debbie, there's hardly any Wendigo here. I think you got them running scared, or you just thinned out the population completely. Yes, that's what happened. Fuck these Akab. Fuck the Akab. Oh, god damn it. I mean, do you think we'd get the government, you know, to just like napalm the Akab? That's, uh, that's unlikely. I don't think napalm is something that, that discriminates. Mm. Nay, Paul, it's burning us all. The heat controlling my mind. Within me, the beast starts to roar. Now I'm ready to I strike. I don't know that. A flame of napalm strike into the fire. Wait, what? It's Sabaton. I'm totally messing it up. It's not in my range at all. Way too deep. W what are you doing? Sabaton! I don't know that one. It's a band. Mm. I don't think I've heard they it. They sing about war. Okay, that, that much I did gather. The Mayans brought these crawling soldiers to fight against their enemies. The Wabanaki had no answer to the malevolent swarm and were on the verge of defeat. Then came the Vikings. Then came Excalibur. The Wabanaki and their new allies defeated their eldritch enemies. Sending the Mayans and the Cobbs scattering. I told you it was Excalibur! I told you it was Mayans. Okay, fair enough. So, let's try to free some of these guys. Yeah. Why are you following me? Go back. You're the only life he knows now. Fine. Ah. Shirtless. Debbie? Yes. Remember? Remember you're gay. Doesn't mean I can't appreciate. Wait, it doesn't? No. I thought that was never mind. I mean I'm 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 bi. I don't know what gay people can or can't do. Oh, fuck. That's a queen.
Yes, queen. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> uh, scarecrows. Why did it have to be scarecrows? Henderson hunted the woods for human prey and cut out their hearts. The pain and horror charged these organs with vile necromantic power. He made scarecrows from enchanted materials. The hay was sprinkled with ungents and oils. The old clothes they wore were stitched with horrid runes. Then into their soft bodies, Henderson placed the harvest of reanimated beating hearts. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah. I didn't know that it was like that. I mean, I just assumed they needed a brain. I just gotta have courage and fight them. I want to go home. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh my god, why do I have to kill so many of these? Because they deserve to die. Oh, okay. I guess that's true. They certainly do deserve to die. I mean, the big question is, why are so many of them alive? Yeah, you know, I think I figured out what, why they were being so annoying before. How come? Those ones, when I kill them, they create little healing circles. Oh, God, that's... Hacks, I call hacks. Not you guys, too. Look, I'm not even messing with you guys. Just, just, just let me pass. We're trying to help the Wabanaki. Whose side are you even on? I believe they're just following orders that they no longer understand. Oh, God, that's sad. The Royal Borough? That would be it. Didn't even have a crown on. This again. No, Queen. Man, I wish you could get even bigger. <laughs> Like Godzilla size, that'd be cool. Yeah. But probably at least a little bit bound by the square cube law. Oh man, that's that is such an annoyance. <laughs> 